Hey, what's up, guys? I got another deck list video for you today. Now, of course, I am still working on the list. I've taken, I kind of took like a couple week break here um, from doing a lot of deck building. I was doing a lot of testing, more so with the decks that I've been making, uh, doing a lot of gameplay videos. But I've got this one for you today. It is Amplified PyCon. It's the I was trying to like wanting to do something I don't see a ton of people playing, but I suppose red is probably one of the more popular styles. I think probably the most popular style I've seen that in blue. Uh, what I was kind of looking for is trying to play off his energy beats theme that a lot of people build him with when they play red. Uh, I didn't opt to do Unleashed because we went Amplified and we're playing kind of more about that the, the drill package. So I could see like this deck definitely getting stalled out on one. Just that's my experience with Amplified in general is a lot of times I get stalled on one unless I build a lot of anger. So you're going to see some of the choices reflected because of that stalling out potential maybe. But also... Um, there's a lot of two ofs if you're looking right now. Now the cards that I don't have marked are all one ofs right now. Uh, our, every drill that we have, of course, is going to be a one of. And time of is a warrior's tool. Otherwise, everything else is like a two of in this deck. There's very few three ofs, and I'll get to why that is in a moment. But uh, just to review Pycon, of course, and the uh, the red amplified mastery. Amplified mastery says all of your styled energy attacks cost minus one. So of course, you generally kind of want to play energy attacks. Uh, with this mastery, I say that, but at the same time, you can run physical kind of hybrid beats. But generally, you want to at least splash some energies in. But uh, the constant isn't necessarily the reason why you're running it. Now, the part where the drills leaf play rejuvenating is really nice. It kind of goes with the theme of PyCon about he's trying to rejuvenate cards. Helps you kind of stay in the game. Helps you uh, recycle your drills. Uh, they go back in your deck, of course, when you level. And we have the active power to give us some stages. Potentially play with anger. Of course, PyCon, level 1, uh, he can kill action events. So when people enter on you with a confrontation or unleashed, you're able to stop it on the level 1. Honestly, not the worst level in the world to get stuck on. Uh, I've likened, actually, the new Tin Shinhan level that got previewed to PyCon. Uh, Tin Shinhan, of course, says when entering, you can stop a when entering effect uh, with his power if you banish top of your life deck. Very strong, just like I think PyCon is. You know, it just kind of depends on the meta. We'll see how that MP level shapes up in terms of viability, but that's mostly going to depend on the meta. Just kind of like how PyCon, I think, is really meta dependent. Uh, of course, you know, you have your power where you pick a card out of your pile and rejuvenate it. Now, his other levels, of course, have the constant effects with the events being played. You rejuvenate cards, punch cards. The level 2, of course, is very, very defensive. And I think a lot of people like blue PyCon for that level 2, being able to dominance to it. Helps you kind of stay in the game. It, it, uh, it just really, it's a really nice level. It is just a really, really nice level. Gives you a little hand filter potential. Well, discard effect potential, I should say. So it's not bad to even slam up there in like black. But I generally see the black belts are just camp one. Pycon 3, of course. Probably never really going to make it too often in this deck. But it does give you a little more rejuve. A potential double attack. It's kind of a doppelganger to uh, Future Gone level 3. I still think Future Gone level 3 is a lot better than this one. But it's got a good constant, of course. These constants banishing cards off your opponent's deck. Getting your cards back when they play events. In the right matchups, if you can get up in these high levels, you're going to be really, really well off. Of course, Pike on 4, probably never going to hit it in this deck, but a monster when events are getting played and can kill Dragon Ball decks completely. But you're probably going to mainly be playing on this 1 and the 2. 3 if you're lucky. So, anyway, to the deck. So, of course, I chose a pretty good sized drill package here. I actually kind of have this drill package that uh, my friend Mike Teagues built, he actually has a Ruthless Videl deck, and I was going to make this Ruthless initially, but I decided to go with Amplified. Uh, there's a pretty solid drill package, and I think one good thing about Amplified is that it does support the drill, it does really support the drills in the sense that if they leave, you get in some rejuve, and that just goes to the theme of PyCon, so why not, I guess. But also, there's little... Um, there's a little mill engine that you get with red drill, with channel surfing drill, and of course, uh, speedy drill. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's over here. Red speedy drill. So, you know, you can get this drill out if you can get it out kind of relatively early in the matchup. It will give you a lot of longevity, making all of your drills have three endurance, but also the effect where you can drop a drill out of your hand to make the mill three. Uh, it can also set up a, you know, a draw, which I'll get to as a combo with a card that we'll touch on here. Uh... With Red Speedy Drill, of course, you drop a drill from your hand, you mill them three, you get a new card, and then Red Speedy Drill says you rejuvenate that drill to make them destroy two. So there's five mil. They, you know, that 
that they didn't even get to really interact with, which is really nice. It's just a nice little slow engine, extra engine, in case you're not able to punch through on people. And it just with PyCon rejuvenating cards, you can keep picking out those drills and putting them back in your deck so you can draw into them later. A card that I really want to get in here is Tug of War, which it's not just to be able to shuffle in when I'm rejuvenating, but oh well, not the worst in the world, I guess. But shuffle effects, of course, very, very strong, I think, with PyCon. So, of course, I did mention those two drills. I guess I'll get to the rest of them here. Exam drill, of course, this is kind of more just for that utility. I do run embarrassing drill, so lowering the anger to when the center's played to get some board kill, not so bad. We do have a few lower anger effects in this deck. I don't know how often I'd be prioritizing embarrassing drill, but there's enough that this is definitely worth having in. Of course, red controlled anger drill, you got to run that card. It's just too good. It goes with rejuvenation. If at least play gets me some extra anger, really, really nice. Red, uh, da, 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 da. Scan drill, there we go. I was wondering why I didn't bring it up. Uh, of course, this card does uh, did get nerfed to a once per combat effect. It's just not a constant anymore, but uh, it's just a little extra mill. Just a little extra mill, and if you lose it when you low up, some more mill. So you combo this with Fort Stance Drill, lowering your anger to get a block, and extra mill for them. And then, of course, Barrier Drill combos with that. So there's one of our lowered anger effects. But again, just little chips. And then with Pycon, of course, you're chipping with a one life card here and there. I'm putting some cards back in. Just like little, little chips. This is not going to be an explosive deck. This is kind of a slower, probably mid range deck. I wouldn't. Yeah, I'd say mid-range because it has potential to beat, but it needs to kind of a little setup. Intimidation drill. Not sure how useful this will be, but being able to kind of maybe sit around in combat, play around in combat a bit, and occasionally this giving you a draw is just so nice. I mean, there are critical attacks in stack, and especially when you get out like the spare drill here, which gives you the modifiers on all your attacks. Then you get amp uh, the brand amplified master to give you a modifier in your next attack. This doesn't seem too unrealistic to be landing. Plus it combos with another card. Uh, of course we have red saving drill to protect the drills when we level up, and I've already touched on red speedy drill. It's just the static uh, mod to maybe stop you from getting crit. Really nice on that, but uh, keeping your drills up, you might need this when you uh, want to go from one to two. Now I have two relaxation, two blaze, and this is actually not supposed to be heroic assistance. Now of course at this time right now, Malicious Intent, which I'm going to bring right up over here. Malicious Intent has not been released yet officially, so this this uh, text may change, but since PyCon is an alien, I thought, why not try to throw this in here? It's got Endurance, which Red really, really needs Endurance, and I do have ways to draw with PyCon, so I was like, why not? Because what you can do with this card is uh, you choose a card from a player's discard pile and place it on top of their life deck. Get some stages back, helps us pay for our energy tax. Pycon actually has very good AT, which I'll run over his levels real quick in a sec, but he's got very, very good AT. He actually gets up into E on his level 1, and he stays in like C and D quite a bit in a lot of his levels. So, being able to like maintain AT against a lot of the physical deck matchups, really strong. That's kind of a reason why I almost wanted to go hybrid beats, but I think he just probably excels more when you're doing just straight life card beats. I think in general, most MPs, unless you have a stage mod, or you're really go geared towards like tutoring physicals, you need to be going, like, life card. But, of course, this card, very, very interesting. Very, very, got a lot of utility here. It gives you, like, a little mini black searching technique effect. But really, it's just the top deck and the stages, I think, is going to be really, really helpful with, uh, like I said, the draw effects on things like uh, Red Channel Surfing Drill, Red Intimidation uh, red intimidation Drill, both giving you draw effects. I think it's got a lot of potential with that. Now, of course, go to Red Blaze, just plays with a Juve theme, get a little crit damage effect when you need it. it this does uh, work very well with Examination Drill here. Of course, gives you a little drill kill. Maybe you want to put one of your drills in the discard pile, so that way you can Red Speedy to, uh, drill it. Just a little extra combo. Of course, Red Relaxation is just such a good card, giving you a little card advantage, giving you some out-of-combat crits. This also works with uh, Examination Drill, so really, really nice in the right matchup. Pycon also being able to sculpt his discard pile with Rejuve effects, especially at level 1, can really set this up for some really nice plays. I've read Blocking at 2. Uh, really, this deck is running a lot of 2s. It's going to be a lot of experimenting to see how well the 2s work, but ideally we're going to be getting a decent amount of Rejuvenation going, hopefully at least with the level 1, a couple of the active cards, and if I can get this out, of course, baller, but... Really, really strong block. Needing the Angus stage is too good to not run this card in pretty much every red deck ever. That doesn't. If you want to level at all, you got to run this card. Red Duck plays with the Rejuve theme, kind of gives longevity. 
Of course, I have Red Race. This card rejuvenates itself. Very, very strong. Endurance. Everything about it's great. Got Red Stop. Uh, so, of course, Red Race is, I think, the only card in this deck that's a three of, other than the two physical attacks down here. But it's just it's so good. But Red Stop, of course. I got it two. Eh. We got multiple... Oh, sorry. Hyper Tornado is three. But uh, we got multiple Omni Blocks, and we got some dedicated blocks. So, really... I mean, it's cool that it grabs a style drill. Um, could always see it at the three if I really, really think I need it, but I think a two of is a great spot for it, uh, personally. You also have uh, Hyper Tornado, of course. This card is going to be nice. It's kind of like the w Piccolo's Way to Clothing Android Insubordination thing where you almost don't want to draw this card. <laughs> you actually almost want to just go in your pile from damage. But, you know, worst case scenario. What's nice about it is that it doesn't vanish after you, so you can play it as a block and then, you know, get rid of it and rejuve a couple of cards, or you can put it back in your deck with one of your Juve effects, so that way when they knock it out of your deck again, you just keep putting it back in, getting more cards. Either way, really, really strong Omni block. Just nice to give you some extra Rejuve, a little longevity. This def you know, this deck, I feel like, gets better the longer the game goes on. Time is the worst tool. Uh, you know, gotta run it. Confrontation at 2 and Hero Sphere at 2. Um, honestly, I could see bumping one of these to a 1. Probably Sphere to 1, but I think 2 and 2, especially because we can rejuvenate them and the matchups are really key, it's going to be good. Now, it's the attack line. Now, this is where I think most Pycon decks... It, you have to really choose, I think, if you're going to be like really aggro. Like You can play Pycon a lot like Amplified 18 and like Yamcha uh, Energy Beats, where you can play them like, with... All about throwing like unleashed life card beats. I think those two MPs are probably just ultimately better because they don't have to worry about stage management. If like we were in a meta where like Namekian and Black are, and by Black I mean like really like control heavy Black, which I suppose Supreme Kai being around is, but like especially Namekian being around, like I could see Pycon being maybe a better meta call for the active. But like with physical beats so prevalent, I think Yamcha and 18 are just probably better for energy. Plus Yamcha just has the, the tutoring, whereas Pycon. And A18, I'd say, out damages Pycon, so he's kind of in that, like, that middle child. He just has like longevity in terms of that he's rejuvenating. But even 18 does some of that. So she's got... You'll find that injured 18 and Pycon a lot of the same combos. But uh, as far as this deck, I, said, I think this is a, I think the more slower, non-pure, ham-fist beats route is a lot better for Pycon. So, of course, a lot of two-ofs here, because we can put them back in if I want them. Stack shot at two, great card. It's really going to be nice to just throw this off and combo it with uh, Intimidation Drill if you can, or just when you want to turn on the aggro. Again, two of's work really good, I think, with Pycon because you can selectively rejuve. Andrew Twin Beams at two. I'd run this at a three if I could, honestly. Such a great card. Uh, works with Red Stop, Red Force Stance Drill, uh, Examination Drill. Really, really nice uh, combo card there. It also works with the next card, Combine Blast, you know, with that parenthetical. That's really the strongest part about it, but also having some anti-anger. Really, really strong. This deck does not have a lot of anti-anger. And the board clear is kind of so-so. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, again, like, tech answers. I don't run Red Energy Blast, as you'll see. Kind of a, my own choice. I could see it going in, but we'll see. Rick by left, of course, having Endurance, just like tw uh, the Twin Beams. Really, really powerful, but also that... Uh, that effect. We're just going to really make people that are playing events hate themselves between the level 1, 2, and this. Very, very nice. And, uh, you know, it's just a big, beefy energy attack, it's just, which is just going to be really, really nice. Enhanced Beam, this is mostly in here for the damage. Damage damage is great, too, but, uh, and, you know, in some matchups, especially like a Supreme Kai, Namekian, I could see you just wanting to loop this card back in your deck. But really, really solid. Just kind of, just kind of like a really generic card, but it's really nice. Freezing Beam, of course, in here, because we got drills, only at two. You're not always going to want to grab your drills out of your pile. They're not always going to be in the pile. So, I think a two, and just it's low damage, but it's nice that it at least has endurance. Now, Red Left Bolt, you're going to be setting up your rejuvenations. This card is probably a really good potential three of, for sure. It's I think it's a two mainly because of space and the stage cost, but you can set up this card with Pycon 1 and any of your other rejuvenation effects. So, like, Sphere, and I wouldn't necessarily say Sphere, but, you know, even Duck to an extent. Very, very good. Very, very good card, indeed. Uh, Red Right Blast, of course, this card says the next time Rejuvenate. This is going to play in really, really nicely with uh, Malicious Intent. <laughs> no, not Heroic Assistance, but Malicious Intent here. Of course, you top-decking that card with that power, and then 
throwing this out. I mean, it's a lot of sequencing, and honestly, you're probably not going to pull it off, so I can see this card getting cut for that reason, because this card needs, this like, whole play needs multiple actions, and I think that's why it's probably not the best. So I could see like Heating Beams being in here instead, but either way, even without Malicious Intent, and which, which is another reason why I could see Malicious Intent being cut is because of it needing setup. But again, I think a right blast here definitely earns a spot. I could see it going though, but it's it's I think very standard for aggro Pycon. I could see, I could see doing good work in this. So we'll see. Right cannon. I'd like to have this at three. Uh, it's at two right now because space. But it's our board clear. Really, really good board clear card. It sucks that you do have to have a drill in play to uh, actually get the board clear portion of it. But it is a potential block. So you have all these like lineup of blocks where you can keep rejuvenating them and then you have this as well so just really nice and a potential like uh definitely a potential like game finisher card you know this and like stack shot with this mastery are so strong because you can get up a bunch of drills to make this super powerful and you can just do your mastery in like a despair drill and you make this hit for like nine ten life cards uh, really really strong now i have control energy burst of course for some uh anti-anger you know, I, I just I think this is probably your best answer as far as, like, red just does not have good anti-anger tech as far as energies go. Twin Beams is pretty much the one <laughs> anti-anger card that you're going to get, so. Uh, but this, of course, is, you know, heroic dashing punch but energy, so you got to run it. I think it's just too damn strong. And like I said, red energy blast didn't make the cut, mostly because I don't want to kill my own drills potentially with it, and it's just low damage, no endurance. It's It could make it in, but I'd probably rather run a third cannon before I even put that card in. So I don't really have a great answer to allies. Um, trying to think of an ally that would really hurt is maybe Krillin ally, of course Piccolo ally. So again, in that those kind of matchups though, we can always try to rely back on the drill package to kind of come through, hopefully mill, drill, or just try to purely crit them away. So I, I could see something like a tug of war or a red energy blast getting put in for that reason. But again, for right now, I think this is what it's going to be at, this two ofs. Which is probably most cuttable attack is probably the right blast to me and the freezing beam. I could just say fuck them, honestly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, otherwise everything else I think is pretty solid. Now, as far as the physical attacks go, I chose two. You know, Red Leap is a card that you're going to see in every Red Pycon ever. Um, it combos right off with your level one. It combos with all your rejuvenating, gives you some extra uh, damage. This is a card that you don't really want to draw into. Ideally, you won't too often but uh you can always just leave this in the pile for those turns where like you get the right combination of attacks here that you want to just turn and burn and you pop one of these out of your pile with a, re with a level one and uh yeah it's just an extra mod you know you get this into spare drill going and get some quite a bit uh good amount of beats again like if you've ever seen or played or thought about building amp 18 you already know the combo so and of course you got Amplified Master with that, can definitely kick out some crit damage. Be really nice for this Intimidation Drill, or giving you that crit effect for exam drill. Red Pound in here, uh, is the final card in this deck. It's mainly in here for the Anger. Again, I don't want to, there's going to be matchups where you really wouldn't want to get off that one, I feel. Maybe against the more aggro -y ones. So having a little extra Anger, and not to mention that this attack can kill opponent's AT. Between the fact that you have already high AT on Pycon, you know, sure you are in B for a few stages here, but you know, once you stay up in those higher level brackets, you're in E and D. You know, he's C, D, E consistently. Like he's got, if you can keep his stages up, he's pretty good. So I mean, Red Pound is coming in for eight though, and you're probably always gonna be able to get the two anger off this. And if you did this amp mastery to give you an anger, and then play this three anger. I mean, why not? You know, just to get you off to just some matches you're really gonna want to be on too. So. But that's a list. I think there's definitely maybe a little room for play. Again, malicious intent <laughs> is going to be a uh, a test, and you know you never know what the final version is going to be. But you have that, and I think red right blast, red leap. I could always see that card either getting cut down or something. And freezing beam. I think are the cards that are really at play spots. I think the drill package is pretty much set. You know, I did initially have a sword maneuver, sword play drill, and like red shining sword attack in here, but I end up cutting them because I just don't think that they're going to be. It's just too much clutter, <laughs> honestly. If I was going to run them, I'd probably want to grab the sword drill. It's not like I couldn't do that, especially because I run. Oh hey, I'm missing one card. Yikes! I have a thunder flash in here. I don't know why that didn't get pulled out. It's probably because I. Here we go. So of course I run through thunder flash. So. Thunder Flash alone, if you were running Aggressive Sword Drill, 
I could definitely understand because this card being uh, unpreventable with Chris's sword drill, having the sword package, that is a route that you could take with the drill package. It's mostly room. If, honest, if honestly the malicious intent doesn't really do me much, I could see myself cutting malicious intent, cutting uh, right blast, and maybe bumping something else down to fit sword maneuver, aggressive sword drill, and uh, sword play drill. Just fit those five at least, like three copies of sword maneuver in one of each of the drills. I think that could be pretty good. It might be something I do again. I want to try malicious intent and see how often I get it off and if it's worth it. But uh, yeah, again, a lot of play that can be done with this. I think it's mostly going to come to testing and preference. So anyway, well, I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope it kind of maybe makes you think about PyCon a little bit. Again, red is just one of the styles you can play them in. I think the blue versions. I think there's a good advocacy for blue resolute PyCon. Obviously, maybe not in this meta. It can be pretty good in the. I mean, in, in general, he's a very meta call MP with his anti event package. He just doesn't really push anything too well. I mean, he does have the rejuve, but there's just not quite a lot of stuff that synergizes with it, like outright rejuvenation that's not in like Saiyan or Namekian. So. But, uh, you know, of course, there are, and then, I mean, there's always, you can try orange uh, PyCon. I know there's people that like that, combative PyCon. I've seen Adept PyCon. There's also Mischievous PyCon. I know Kelly Dennis did pretty good with that. Again, kind of just depends. I think he's definitely not, I don't think he's worth playing full aggro over, like, 18 or Yamcha for like energy beats and i think that's where his niche is now if you were to do resolute i'd do life card beats but even then i still feel like future gohan would just be a better pick than him so that's kind of his issue it's just kind of in terms of like how good he's going to be it's going to be better based on the meta if there's more events getting played super great mp if not so many events eh, he just doesn't be, do quite the beats as well so but i think you guys will enjoy this one give it a shot play it out if you want me to build more PyCon in the future, I might. Again, I was really tempted to just do blue, but I felt like that everyone just makes blue protective PyCon or resolute PyCon. So, but anyway, guys, again, really liking that you guys are watching, giving me suggestions. I'll keep working on this list. But anyway, peace.